Peace now. Let's get into it real quick. We're going to talk about this burnt out root along with the tea that I'm making today. I'm still making my chamomile tea. Be adding that burnt out root in real quick. We'll go over some benefits with this before we go to the whiteboard and I break down this meat for you guys so you can really understand what it is that I'm talking about when it comes to meat and why it's not natural for the physiology. All right. So let's get into what it is we want to talk about. We're talking about that burdock root. We're talking about its benefit. It says that it benefits acne and its eczema. So it's helpful with that if you're suffering from that. Also, it says it promotes hair growth, guys. So it says it promotes hair growth. So the way you'll utilize that is you'll use it topically, guys. So you wouldn't necessarily take that in as a tea, like I'm about to take it in right here. So it'll be topical when you use that. Also, it says it helps to regulate blood sugars. For those of us who deal with uh, blood sugars who may be pre-diabetic, uh, et cetera, or diabetic, etc. You want to check that out as well. Again, always do your research. Protects the liver. For those of us who sometimes get out of pocket, sip on something like alcohol that ain't good for the body at all. And certainly not good for the liver. Something that we can uh, do. It improves kidney function. It appears to have a lot of benefits, guys. I did a video on this a while back, so uh, this is more of a refresher. It helps prevent cancer according to this. Again, what you want to do, guys, is you go, and I'll leave a link to this down in the bottom. You can go and look at this stuff yourself, all right? Fights arthritis. You know, many of you guys are dealing with arthritis. So those are the top, those are the top key right there, the key ones, guys, that uh, is coming up on this. Again, we did it before. Oh, it's a few more. It said it should help improve your cholesterol profile. You get about two more benefits, guys. About two more. Helps heal stomach ulcers, ulcers. You know your boss stumbles over words at times. All right. And assist in digestion. So, again, I'll be utilizing that right there in my tea today. Post to balance mood and lift depression as well. So, it's a ton of benefits that this burdock root has, guys. I bought it in bulk, but I bought it in single packages. So, I have about 10 of these packages like this. And again, I'll leave a link to Mountain Roads Herbs dot com down there in the uh, description again guys what I'm utilizing there my tea is that cinnamon the sea lion cinnamon I'm utilize my chamomile and I'm also going to utilize a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of this burdock root to go into that tea uh, so let's move on to the board let's break this meat down let's get it in guys Peace. Peace time, let's get right into it. What we're gonna talk about right here, we're talking about the meat factor, guys. And I'm gonna deal with why meat is not natural for the physiology. Don't get emotional, guys. I know you all eat, most of you eat meat. I'm not bashing you for eating meat, but I'm gonna explain to you why it is not natural for the human physiology. We'll break that down and then we'll move on beyond it. If you continue to eat meat, that's your choice. But know that it's not necessary and it is not natural for the physiology. This is not coming from a point of view where I'm somebody who want to save all the animals on the earth. This comes from a fact of studying the physiology, understanding what meat and that does to the physiology, and understanding that natural foods do, have, do not have to be altered in any way, shape, or form. Let's break it down. Let's get right into it, and then we're going to get you on up out of here, all right? The meat factor, guys, the meat factor. This is what we're dealing with. Natural foods. Natural foods are any foods, anything that can be consumed by the human physiology without needing to be altered in any shape or form. Meaning that the molecular structure of these foods naturally assimilate with the human physiology without it having to be altered in any way, shape, or form. All right. Unnatural foods. 
any foods that, that have to be altered in order to be consumed, in order not to be poisoned, or in order not to poison the human physiology. All right? So in this, what we're dealing with is foods that if they were left as they were, when they had been killed mainly, those foods will poison the physiology if they are not cooked or altered so that you can consume it. It only makes sense, guys. That is not natural or necessary for the human physiology. Let me repeat that one more time. Any food that has to be altered in order to be consumed, in order not to poison the human physiology, is an unnatural food and it's unnecessary for our human survival, all right? I know we've been taught wrong, been taught what meat is, and throw this out here, guys. You don't even like meat. You like the way that meat has to be prepared, and I'm going to break down the preparation of meat and how even in preparing a meat, you are killing the physiology, accelerating the death of the human physiology, even by cooking it. But back to the point at hand, you don't even like meat, guys. You like the way that the meat has been prepared. If you like the meat, you can go out there and you can eat that meat raw. You can kill that pig, slice it up, slice those pieces of bacon up, go ahead and eat it raw. You can kill that cow, cut out a piece of his butt, make it a steak, don't cook it, eat it raw. You can't do it. You don't have the anatomical tools to rip that apart either. Also, again, we need tools in order to even be able to cut and get those that meat down to the size that we want it in order so that we can chew it. But being able to chew it and consume it in its natural state, meaning uncooked, it will kill you. And you won't be able to do it anyway, all right? So, let's move on. Meat, fish, dairy, eggs. Anytime you're cooking foods, this is what happens. Foods that have to be cooked at high temperatures create advanced glycation end products. The acronym for that is AGES. What is this? This means that this end product accelerates the aging of the human body. What happens with AGES, guys, and I talked about this before in videos, is that anytime you have to cook foods at high temperature, it creates what is called advanced glycation end products. These end products are, when you consume the food, they break off into the bloodstream and they attack the proteins, the protein lipids in the body, meaning they are sugar molecules that is created from when you cook these foods at high temperature. Those molecules bind to what is called protein, protein lipids, rendering those proteins unable to be renewed. The body wants to be able to renew its proteins. This process hinders and eliminates the body's ability to renew its protein because, because of the binding of the sugars that are created from this cooking process, rendering those proteins that that sugar molecule has attached to unable to be renewed, therefore accelerating the aging process. The integrity of the body has a lot to do with the protein body's ability to renew its proteins. And when it can't, this causes, a uh, again, an acceleration of the aging process, the breaking down of the body quicker, the aging of the body, therefore leading us into an earlier death shorter life expectancy guys all right so again don't get emotional sit back listen play it over it again and then go ahead and do more research guys but you don't even have to do a lot of research the thing is this all you have to do is understand the natural functions of the human physiology understand the anatomical tools that we have and understand that that which is natural for the body doesn't have to be altered. Just because we can do something doesn't mean that it is natural, all right? And again, I'm not telling you to stop eating your meat, but what I am telling you is meat is not natural or necessary for this human physiology, even though we can consume it 
And even though we've made it in a way that we love it and made it tasty and very delicious. All right. All right, guys. Have a beautiful day. Peace.